man, Rick Ross. So Rick Ross had a show in Canada, Vancouver to be exact, and everything was going perfect. He was performing his songs, he was performing a lot of his classic records, even the records with Drake, so it seemed like a good vibe. But apparently that wasn't enough for Rick Ross, so when Rick Ross was wrapping up the show, he ended up playing Not Like Us by Kendrick Lamar, and Rick Ross knew what he was doing. He was in Canada, Not Like Us is obviously towards Drake, the biggest Canadian artist ever. And yeah, I know the show wasn't in Toronto, but the whole Canada pretty much claims Drake. So, so of course he was going to ruffle some feathers and that's what happened. And after the show, a couple people pressed Rick Ross and his team, told him that it was disrespectful, what is he doing? And Rick Ross clearly didn't care and that's what caused him to get punched. Some say that the person missed and it didn't connect, but from what I saw, it connected. I don't know what angle you guys were looking at, but I, I'm pretty sure it connected. I'm obviously not gonna show the whole fight on here because you know how YouTube gets sometimes. But when Rick Ross got hit, that's when everything went crazy. Rick Ross stepped to the side and the people on Rick Ross's team stepped up. I think it was like a security guard, his DJ, and I think someone else. They stepped in, but it didn't end too well for them. They all got hurt because they was defending Rick Ross. But I blame Rick Ross for this because this Kendrick Lamar and Drake beef, that's with them. Leave that with K-Dot and Drake. Don't add yourself in it. And I know Rick Ross has his own problems with Drake. The whole BBL Drizzy thing. Yo, Rick Ross, you got that. Everyone's running with that now. You made that whole BBL Drizzy thing a thing. Like, stick with that. Don't sprinkle yourself in the whole beef going to Canada playing not like us. Like, nothing was going to happen. And Rick Ross knew what he was doing. And maybe Ross didn't think anything was going to happen because he wasn't in Toronto. But I feel like even if he was in Toronto, he would do it anyways because Rick Ross is like that. He would do something like that. But this is all Rick Ross's fault. And one thing about Drake, he's not just good in Toronto. He's good everywhere in Canada. Because of him, Canada is popping. Mostly Toronto, of course, but Canada has a lot of eyes on him because of Drake. So, of course, people are going to react and think that it's disrespectful. Like, why perform that song in Canada, you know? Maybe elsewhere you can play that song. You could do that in Georgia or whatever the case is. But you're doing that in Canada knowing, like you're doing something crazy. And with this whole scuffle going viral, you're going to have people react to it. Like one of Ross's enemies, 50 Cent. And he actually reacted to it more than once. I'm not surprised. That part where the, 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 the young guy went like, he did this little move and shit and got knocked the fuck out, like right there. That was not, that does not reflect him. That reflects his camp. And he might need to go get the, uh, the dream chasers or, um, <laughs> The 305 killers? <laughs> in Canada, Rick Ross got fucked up, man. All his bodyguards need to resign, nigga. Bro, them bro, niggas, bro. They failed the number one thing. They ain't got nobody body. It's who they own. One thing you don't want to be is the laughing stock on the internet. Especially if you portray yourself as a boss and someone that's untouchable, like Rick Ross. It's not really a good look. Rick Ross's baby mom, she commented under Drake's photo and we all know that she doesn't like Rick Ross. Ross saw the post and he wasn't shy with letting everybody know how he felt about them too. He even posted an update letting everybody know that he's all good, there's nothing to worry about, and he doesn't regret what he did. But he should because it got his people beat up and one of his boys knocked out. And whatever conversation they had with Ross back on that plane, it better be some money involved because they fought for Ross. Like, <laughs> one of them got knocked out. So they need that payment. They need that raise. That paycheck better be direct deposit as soon as possible. I just find this whole thing crazy because all of this was preventable. He was performing. It was a good vibe. It was a good time. Everybody singing, rapping to the music, the old hits and all of that. But Rick Ross really did that. You didn't have to perform not like us. Like, I don't feel bad for Ross at all, but I do feel bad for his peoples that was with him because all of this was preventable. Like I said, it didn't have to happen. And Rick Ross is the whole reason why it did happen. And those people are probably traumatized and embarrassed because I was looking at um, some of the 
some of his team's comment sections. I was looking at uh, uh, Sam Sneak, his DJ. I was looking at his comment section. There's a bunch of people just roasting him, just going at him and stuff. So all of that was preventable. And Drake is chilling right now, man. He posted a video of him celebrating Canada Day. And of course, you know, he was chuckling in the video because of what happened to Ross and he's just chilling. But it could get crazy if Drake performs out in Florida, you know, Miami to be specific. And there might be some people that love Rick Ross or have ties with Rick Ross. They might try to attack Drake or try, or try to press him or anything like that because of retaliation of what happened in Canada. But a lot of people are saying that those people were OVO goons, people on Drake's payroll or stuff like that. I don't believe that. It was just... It was just in Canada and Rick Ross did something disrespectful and they felt some type of way. That's all. I don't think it was no OVO goons. Yeah, Drake may have reacted on his story, posting whatever, but it wasn't ordered by Drake or anything like that. Crazy how one action can just cause a whole chain reaction of stuff happening. This fat ass ain't throwing no blows. Man, Will, they swung on your fat ass. You ain't done. You stood your fat ass back, man. Your scary ass. You big fat scary ass stood back, bitch. I'm looking good now from this angle. Man, that bitch got back, man. He tried to, oh, they kicking the shit out that security. They fucking his fat ass up. Watch this shit again, dog. That fat bitch got on khaki green or something. Look at him with his stank breath ass all in a nigga face with that doodle ass breath. I'm glad they smacked the shit out your bitch ass. Yeah, Rick Ross, this is your fault, bro. But yeah, we'll see what happens, though. Hopefully nothing crazy goes on after, but we'll see. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you are new and enjoy videos like this. Hit that like button. It would help me so, so much. Comment down below anything about this topic. Anything Rick Ross and Drake related, comment all that down below. And yeah, I'm out.